How does height affect muscle size? Every single day I have tall guys ask me, Alex, how come my muscle measurements are very large, yet when I look in the mirror, I don't appear that muscular. I just look like some regular dude who goes to the gym. Yet, I'll see some short motherfucker who doesn't have the measurements that I got, yet he looks way stockier, way more buff. So if that's you, whether you're a short guy or a tall guy, you want to understand differences between size and height, let me break it down. So what you have to first understand is that the longer your arm is or the longer your leg is, the more mass you got to put on it to make it look good. It's just common sense. So a short guy like myself, I have like, my arm is so short that I don't need a lot of muscle to make it look good. In other words, on a five foot five guy like me, 16 inch arms is the equivalent of a six foot two guy with 18 inch arms. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. It, it, it really fucking sucks for the tall guys because you tall guys, you can have 16s, but it's not going to look as good as a short dude. So what you have to do to match the short dude is acquire 18 inch arms. And that's what's so hard. That's what's so difficult about it. You got to get measurements that is, it, it's damn, it, it's fucking hard to obtain. Basically, that's why taller guys typically have problems. Same thing with the forearms, man. With the forearms, if you're tall, you're, you're practically screwed for the most part. Not screwed, but it's really, really difficult. Like there's even guys who they're very good at grip strength, but because they have these super long uh, arms, makes the forms look small. Like mine are 14 and a half inches, right? At uh, five foot five in height. That's obviously gonna look way bigger than a six foot two guy with 14 and a half inches. And you know, it's funny because I have a lot of subscribers that are bigger than me. I have subscribers that are stronger than me, that have more measurements than me, yet they don't look as big. They don't look as stocky just because of their height. And this is just a fundamental truth about bodybuilding. Most bodybuilders are on the shorter side. This is not to offend anyone, it's not to tax anyone, it's just giving you a dose of reality. The benefit though of the tall guys is that you have a greater absolute strength potential, hence why so many strongman competitors are tall, and uh, it's better for athletics. So, don't, I mean, don't worry about it. You may not look as big, but you're gonna have some better fucking performance than a short little man like me, okay? And also you have to consider, once you obtain those larger measurements, you'll look better than a man at 99% of the time. So let, let, let's go back to the example I gave before with the arm size, right? I got 16.25 at 5'5". If you're six foot two, you might need 18s. Well, let's say you do get the 18s and you're standing right next to me, you're gonna look way more impressive 100% of the time. There's no question about it because the tall guy, it just, it looks better on a taller physique. And I guess that's one of the reasons why Arnold's physique was so respected. He was a tall guy, yet he managed to obtain these proportionate measurements and he just looked fantastic the one criticism uh, of his physique would be his legs though and that could be tall uh, that could be difficult for some taller dudes to fill it in like short guys have a tremendous advantage here like my calves are only like 15 and a half inches they used to be 16 and a half but they look amazing like they pop out completely a tall dude that would look like stick level you know or my quads i got 25 and a half which is actually very large but even if i had 22 inch legs even if i had 21 almost they would still look big because i am short so that's what i'm trying to say the longer your limbs are the more size you got to pack on to look equivalent to a short guy we're not equivalent but to, to look good to look fucking good period so next time you have a tall guy he has 16 and a half inch arms and he's trying to compare it to a short guy even though they have the same measurements realize that he's not gonna look as good it's just a fact he needs larger measurements to equate it that's exactly what it is that's what bodybuilding is all about it's a height to size analysis here. And then remember, don't think of numbers in isolation. Look at it within the context of height, okay? So if you have like a guy who's five feet and he's got 16 inch arms, please believe that his arms are massive. They are absolutely massive for a guy of his height. So that's how you have to approach it. So I hope this clarifies things, why some of you taller dudes, you got these insane measurements, yet you don't look as good. It's not your fault, it has nothing to do uh, like it's, it's not your fault. It just it has to do with the fact that you're too tall and you gotta fill in more size with the measurements. So that's that's really all it is. The shorter guys they have a clear advantage and that's why most of them are the best bodybuilders. So I hope that clarifies things. Let me know what you think down below. Give me some feedback and with that we'll talk to you guys next time.